Hello everybody and welcome to another Sunday pickup video. Uh, this week is going to consist of multiple things and a couple of games I don't have a system for yet. But uh, I did get some Blu-rays. Uh, the first four were um, $3 a piece and I do have them on DVD. Most of them and I had to upgrade to Blu-ray especially for $3 a piece. The first one is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Awesome movie. Um, big fan of this movie, uh, Kavano Reeves acts into it, and, um, can't remember the name of the other actors right now, Anthony Hopkins, that's it, and Christina, no, Renata Ryder, that's it. Uh, pretty good movie, ad adaptation of Dracula, uh, the only thing wrong with it is the flaps a little bit broke. Uh, An American Haunting, never watched this movie yet, heard a lot of great things about it, if anybody has an opinion onto this, please let me know. Uh, last... The Last House on the left is the remake. Um, wasn't a big fan of this one, but for three dollars I had to upgrade because I have it on DVD. Um, did have some popular scenes into it. The the last scene in the movie was fucking awesome. So, and then I picked up this one. I've seen it before. I just can't remember too much about it. It's the Haunting of Winchester House. Uh, I believe I've watched this. I think on Netflix or on TV or something like that. And it wasn't that bad of a movie, like I said, for uh, for three bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, this one here, I paid two for, and it's Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Also had this on DVD. Had to do an upgrade for uh, upgrade to my uh, to my collection. Katie Holmes acts into it. Didn't hear too much great things about that. So uh, next is gonna be PSP movies that I got online. Um, through my Amazon account, uh, through Swag Bucks, so they were free. And the first one is Pirates of the Caribbean: The Curse of the Black Pearl. Awesome movie. I don't know how the quality shakes up in UMD form, but and the first Matrix. Um, yeah, I guess this is a Kavana Reeves uh, pickup video. Um, I didn't see that until now, but uh, yeah. DVD picture quality says on the back and everything like that. So, uh, then I picked up a couple games at my local game store. Uh, first one is Nano Assault on the 3DS for five dollars. Uh, looks like a fun little shoot 'em up, and I believe someone had this in their Hidden Gems games. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it's made by Majesto. Majesto. And then I picked up this one. I heard a lot of great things about this one. It's like a mystery novel on the DS, and it's Hotel Room. 215. Paid five bucks for that. Looking forward to playing that one. Uh, I seen this one on a Metal Jesus Rocks Hidden Gems on the DS. And for ten dollars, I thought it was a great deal. So and it's made by Square Enix. It's Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Looks like a fun little game, uh, especially the stuff in the back. And when I seen it on the review, I had to have it. I uh, also picked this up. It's uh, Dragon's Lair on the Super Nintendo. I'm looking to beef up my Super Nintendo collection, so I had to put this in. I believe I paid seven dollars for this. And then these two games here, I paid ten bucks a piece for PlayStation Four games. I don't have a PlayStation Four yet, but I'm planning on getting one in the near future. Maybe one in the next year, year and a half, I'll have one. So I'm gonna start picking up some games. Last week you see me pick up Minecraft. For ten dollars with a charger. This week I picked up Killzone, Shadowfall, and Knack. These were both ten dollars a piece. Knack looks like a fun little platforming type game. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it, and I've heard some bad things about it. Same thing with Shadowfall. Uh, heard some good things and bad things. Um, picked up this one. It's not complete. If anybody has the manual for it, please let me know, and maybe we can work out a trade or something. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. We Wheelie Breakers. Um, it says here you can play with the gamepad and everything like that. I know the Yu-Gi-Oh games are very pricey on um, the Wii and all that. I paid ten dollars for this one. I don't know if I overpaid or paid retail or whatnot, but uh, yeah, it has no manual. And usually I don't pick up games with no manual, but I know the price of these games. And then I picked up Hot Shots Gulf Tree. Uh, missing the manual. This was free off of Amazon. Using my Swagbucks points. So I'm looking for the manual for this also. Uh, if anybody has the manual, please let me know. And uh, we can work out a trade. And that's my pickups for this week. Hopefully everybody enjoyed them. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. Uh, take her easy. Please join my Halloween contest uh, that I have going on. And if anybody wants to add me to the PlayStation Network, it's M underscore case, C-A-S-E, 666. Um, add me. I'm, I'm on there at least once a day, uh, updating my trophies and everything like that. Uh, I just hit Diablo at 100%, so I'm, I'm trying to give my PS3 a break right now. Um, so take her easy, and I'll catch you later.